Texas A&M football has completed their spring practice with their game being yesterday, and the biggest question remains who will be the starting quarterback for the Aggies in 2021. Uh, we did a video on this a few weeks ago. We, we dove into the quarterback competition, had kind of a deep dive on things, and kind of broke down their tool sets, what they bring to the table. So if you want to watch that video, you can uh, I'll link it below so you can check it out. Um, Haynes King, Zach Cazada, uh, still the two guys uh, in, in contention for the job. Depending who you talk to, it depend who their favorite is. Some people lean Haynes King and think he has a slight edge. Uh, both did some good things yesterday, and both had some kind of uh, young player mistakes, some fumbled snaps, both had interceptions, but at the same time, both showed some good things. The final stat line, which don't put too much uh, stock into it, as there were several drops, especially for Haynes King. Uh, Haynes King was 16 of 31 for 211 yards, a touchdown, interception. Calzada, 19 of 40, 253 yards. One touchdown, one interception as well. And I believe each had a fumble, uh, not snap, a fumbled uh, handoff to the running back. So we're going to go dive in, we're gonna dive into some film, about five or six plays of each quarterback to kind of see how they did and what they did well. Uh, just kind of the highlights, not the the, the, the the fumbles or the interceptions. We're going to dive into some plays and break it down from the spring game. But before we do, I just want to uh, let y'all know if, if uh, y'all like any quarterback related content, please consider giving this channel a subscription. Uh, we do quarterback breakdowns, competitions, film analysis, interviews we got coming up, how we assess and screen quarterbacks in the weight room. Uh, any quarterback related content is on this channel. So if you like that type of stuff, please consider giving this a subscription and we'll continue to get better. Enough of me talking, enough of me plugging the channel. Let's go ahead and dive into the film of these two quarterbacks from the spring game. Here's a great ball by King on the opening drive. It ends up being a probably cover one man under, even though this DB is playing you know, almost 10 yards off the ball. He ends up going to man. This safety drops back, covers everything. You got two, so excuse me, you got some crossing routes here. And then you have this deep cross here. The safety's not, not able to get over in time. King does a good job in the pocket, delivers a great ball, ends up being a drop. Uh, but a good ball by King and, and good recognition and progression in his reads, something you like to see. Uh, ho hopefully they get the, the drops cleaned up uh, when fall rolls around. Let's go ahead and watch this here. Pocket goes through his progressions. Great ball downfield, good touch, and just a drop. But good ball by King. Here's third and 13 for King. Uh, he's able to uh, roll out here, buy some time. He goes out of downfield and ends up getting a first down. Uh, just a good job showing his ability to make a play when nothing's there. Let's go ahead and check it out. Puck comes in, eyes downfield, hits this guy here. Gets upfield, get upfield, get upfield. First down there. So you know, an another great read by King, something you really like to see here. Uh, you have two, let's see, you have two up top safeties, but this safety actually is going to come down. So you basically have just kind of one. So it's almost like a, a cover one scheme with man under type deal with some zone concept here for the strong safety. Um, and so uh, King is going to hit this kind of deep skinny post, almost like a bang route. The safety doesn't, isn't able to get over here in time. And King, King is reading this guy when he sees him come in. He knows, okay, I got this post here at the inside the middle of the field because the safety is not going to be able to get over in time. Great read and a great throw by King as well. See the safety come in, stands in, delivers a strike. Good ball, Haynes King. Again, you like to see those type of reads from young quarterbacks. Here's a great job at King. Pushing the ball downfield. This is a great read, which is what you like to see uh, from these young quarterbacks. So you have one safety up top here. You have the DB and the inside slot DB, linebacker, whatever you want to call him. And so it's a good read by Calzada. He ends up green this corner who bails out and takes this guy and is able to hit this Kind of wheel route here, but once he sees this corner take off, he knows that this linebacker or inside slot corner can't take the receiver here. Watch this read right here, and so he sees. Yeah, he gets behind this the, the, the slot DB, delivers a great throw, good touch on his ball. That's a good job pushing it downfield and good read by a young quarterback. Here's King's touchdown pass. And you'll see him throw just kind of this wheel route to this receiver comes wide open. And pump fakes, he pump fakes, excuse me, pump fakes once. You can see he kind of wants this receiver coming in here, but he sees this DB has his back turned to the sideline and is kind of more focused. As deep the DB's eyes are on the quarterback and not the any of the receivers, and so King's able to, to stop his throw or able to pump fake and uh, 
uh, get a touchdown here. Easy throw, but still nice to see that that type of uh, progression. So this is a great read by Kazada on third and four. We're going to see this receiver motion in. And so these DBs bump, so he bumps inward. He takes this guy, and still whoever goes to the flat, one of these guys has to take. But with that said, when they bump in, uh, Calzada knows that someone has to come outside to cover the swing back, uh, the receiver on the swing route. Calzada makes a good read and hits him for a first down. We'll watch these guys bump. Watch the motion comes in. They bump in. Someone has to get on the outside. Good read by Calzada. Quick throw. First down. Simple. But that's the stuff you like to see. Here's another good pass by Calzada. I'll get first drive on the run. Eyes downfield. Good ball here. Check this out. Throws it over this D end. Good arm strength again as well. You can see a lot of zip on his balls. So another uh, throw here demonstrating his arm strength. Uh, pocket kind of breaks down. We'll see from this side. Calzada is able to roll out here. Eyes downfield. And throws an absolute strike on third and ten. Uh, with a to, into a small window, great catch for the wide receiver as well. But good arm strength on the run here. Let's go ahead and check this out. Eyes downfield, watch the strike. Good ball, first down. Here's a good play by Zach Calzada on the opening drive for the Anim Spring game, and it's going to show his zip on his passes. But watch, this is his main read here, and so he's re reading this linebacker, the receiver comes underneath, five-yard dig, five-yard cross, and he has a deeper slant right behind him. He reads the linebacker. The linebacker takes this receiver and is able to throw a good ball right behind the linebacker here to this receiver. So it's actually it's a good read, and, and but it shows the zip he, ha the zip he has in his ball. But uh, from a matura maturation standpoint, it's a good read by Zach Calzada. Comes in. Good ball there. Plays some zip. Another good job by Calzada on the run here. Let's just go ahead and check it out. Nothing crazy here. Just a good job demonstrating eyes downfield. Good arm again. To the receiver in stride. The receiver able to pick up a, get some good yards after the catch. So another good ball by Calzada thrown over the middle of the field. Something he did pretty well on uh, this past Saturday. And demonstrated a lot of zip over the middle of the field. Kind of a half roll here. Sets his feet. Delivers a strike. Delivers a strike down here. Let's go ahead and check this out. Watch the receiver coming across the middle of the field. Steps up. Good ball down there in the tight coverage. Again, just a few clips showing uh, Calzada and King um, from the spring game, what they did well, and, and just kind of what you can expect moving forward. I think AM is going to be in a good position regardless who wins the quarterback battle. Again, you can kind of check our first video below in the description if you want a, a more detailed breakdown of the quarterback competition. Something we'll follow in the offseason, and once the fall comes around, we'll keep tabs on who is in the lead and, and who ends up winning that competition. Uh, but if you like this video, please like it, like the channel, consider subscribing, and we'll continue to get better each and every time. Uh, but until then, we will see you on our next quarterback-related video.